What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. I am back, back with the daily videos for everybody to look forward to. So if you haven't already then do subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Daily Manchester City transfer updates every single day throughout the summer transfer window. You want to stay up to date first and fast with the latest City transfer news and do subscribe, aiming for 19k subscribers, we're just over 900 subs away from that goal, so that would be brill, don't forget also social media links there in the description below, and sliding across at the bottom of the screen, if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below, so if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos, or any general business inquiries, leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video, 300 likes once more is the like goal, and also let me know your thoughts in the comments below of what you make of these transfers, and before anyone starts commenting and wearing in red yes it's an adidas top calm down there we go right plenty to get through let's crack on with this video we're going to start off with some contract news uh, and we've got an update first in the form of raheem sterling now despite rumors the daily mail they're saying manchester city they've been impressed with raheem sterling's form this summer they want him on a new contract still that's despite him being unhappy with him being offered to tottenham hotspur in exchange for harry kane i can tell you right now with the form that sterling's shown for England, he won't be leaving Manchester City this summer. Now, moving on to the next story, we've got an update on Luis Firioni. I hope I said his name right. Uh, anyway, he signed a new five year contract at Manchester City, so big congratulations there to the youngster. Brilliant news. He has since then joined Lincoln on loan until the end of the season, so I wanted to wish Luis the very best of luck on his move. I hope he goes and smashes it, and congratulations on earning a new long term deal at Manchester City. Good news. Now, moving on to the outs. We've got an update on Issa Kabore. He has officially joined Troyes, who are part of the CFG, on loan for the rest of the season. So the best of luck to Issa in France for the upcoming campaign, just like Lewis. I hope he does go and smash it out there. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Yangel Herrera. Now, LUFC fans zone, they're saying Leeds United, they are interested in signing Yangel Herrera. It didn't mention if it was going to be a permanent or a loan transfer. Would be a good move for uh, Yangel Herrera. Gets in Premier League experience, playing under a good attacking manager in Marcelo Bielsa as well. I think that would be a really good move for him, whether that is a low move or a permanent transfer. If it is a permanent transfer, I would like to see a buyback clause put in there, just like we have with Douglas Louise and also a sell-on fee. That means the fee has to come down a little bit, so be it. It's all about experience, and I think that is influential in developing high-quality young players. I regard Yangle Herrera in that category. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Gavin Bazunu. Hampshire Live, they were reporting that Gavin Bazunu, he would be joining Portsmouth very soon. It was going to be a season-long loan deal agreed, pending a medical. That medical has been completed, and it is an official transfer now. Um, Gavin Bazunu has joined Portsmouth on loan for the rest of the season, so best of luck to Gavin on his move to Hampshire, and hope he has a fantastic season in League One once more like he did with Rochdale. Now, speaking of goalkeepers, James Trafford. Uh, he has joined Accrington Stanley on loan for the season. He's looking forward to the move. Did a really nice interview with Accrington Stanley. Wanted to wish James the very best of luck on his loan move as well. I do hope that he also goes and smashes it. Now we've got an update on Adrian Bernard. He has announced that his contract at Manchester City has ended. He has left Manchester City. It's a massive shame. Top, top quality young player, Bernard. Uh, I'm not too sure where he's going to be heading to. I imagine a return back to Spain more than likely. Uh, but I do wish him all the best for the future. A really good prospect and another young player that Manchester City are losing. But uh, with all young players, it, it's one of them things. Not everyone will make it at Manchester, Manchester City. In fact, very few will make it at Manchester City. Doesn't mean he's not going to have a successful career, though. And I do wish him all of the best. Now, that is also the same applying to Felix Namicha. He has also left Manchester City. His contract is up. It hasn't been renewed. So I wanted to wish Felix the best of luck on his future, too. Another good prospect and another top quality young player that will be leaving Manchester City. So Felix, do hope he goes and smashes it wherever he does end up. Now, moving on, Brian Kidd. 
It's not always about players. I cover staff and I cover managers and things like that as well. Brian Kidd, very sad this. Uh, confirmed uh, that he has left Manchester City. That makes me very sad or he's leaving Manchester City. He's been at City for 12 years. He's worked really hard at Manchester City uh, and he has some fantastic relationships with some uh, with the with the players of course and with the staff as well. He's been a tremendous servant to Manchester City with the backroom staff and it's a big loss. It is a really big loss. I'm uh, interested to see who will replace Brian Kidd at Manchester City but uh, yeah, we're losing one of our most influential coaches. Um, he's 72 years old. He said he's interested in still staying in football if the right opportunity is out there. So I don't know uh, why he's leaving Manchester City if he's not been offered a new deal or whether he's planning partial retirement or going to retirement now uh, and see if there's any more opportunities that arise maybe in the future. I don't know. But I just want to say to Brian Kidd, the very best of luck for whatever the future does hold. If that is retirement, then happy retirement. Uh, have a uh, You've earned it. Go and have a fantastic uh, time on your retirement a great service to Manchester City and our club and I wish him nothing but the best. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Jack Harrison. He has officially joined Leeds United. He's no longer a Manchester City player. Permanent basis. Leeds have exercised their right to buy uh, a year later than what they should have from uh, from last summer. The fee is believed to be between 11 and £12 million. Leeds have confirmed, though, that it is an undisclosed transfer. Uh, I'm just saying that's what's been reported out there. The fee is believed to be 11 to £12 million. Really good move that for Jack Harrison. He wanted it last year. Probably should have had it last year. Leeds weren't sure which division they were going to be in, so they've been reluctant, but they've exercised their option this year, uh, and he will be staying uh, at Leeds United on a permanent basis, and we will be able to see Jack Harrison play against Manchester City now, so I do wish him all of the best. Now, moving on to the end, we've got first an update on Andre Silva. One of Man City's contingencies for Harry Kane. Yeah. It won't be Andre Silva. Fabrizio Romano says the Frankfurt striker. He is set to join RB Leipzig instead. The deal has been agreed and all sorted. They're just waiting for the formalities for that to be an official transfer. That means one of the options, the contingencies for City, won't be Andre Silva. I'm also wondering what this means for Lucas Nemecha to RB Leipzig as well. He is an attacker, a striker as well. If they're spending a lot of money on Andre Silva, then uh, are they going to be signing... Um, Lucas Nemecha as well. I think the fees are around 40 million euros for him to leave Frankfurt to go to RB Leipzig. So yeah, uh, there we go. That's uh, something for Manchester City to maybe think about there. Now moving on, got an update on uh, Kouadwo Bar. If you remember him, the guy who signed for Manchester City, but we never actually had official confirmation of this right at the end of the January transfer window. Well, we've had news that that deal officially collapsed and that was then meant to be completed this summer instead on a free from Rochdale. He signed for Watford. Moving on! Anyway, new name, Ben White of Brighton and Hove Albion. He's been getting heavily linked with a move to Arsenal. They were believed to be closing in on his signature for around £45 million. It's believed £45 to £50 million would be enough to pick him up. But the uh, centre-back is being linked with a move to Manchester City, of course, homegrown. This is if Americ Laporte leaves Manchester City. I'd say that's a big if because I don't think that he will. Uh, but apparently he is the option that City wants to go for if Laporte does leave. Not too sure how I feel about that. I personally feel like Ben White isn't as good of a player as what A. Merrick Laporte is. Like, not even close. So uh, I feel that's a, a downgrade, really. Yeah, I'd rather keep A. Merrick Laporte here, if I'm completely honest. There we go. Now, moving on. Manuel Locatelli. Mike McGrath at the Telegraph. He said that Manchester City, they aren't at the front of the queue to bring in Manuel Locatelli. And they more than likely will not be signing him this summer. He is instead meant to, to be going to Juventus. He's been heavily linked with a move to Arsenal as well. Uh, apparently... Quite a few clubs in uh, in Europe are keen to get the Sassuolo defensive midfielder slash central midfielder sorted. He's had a good campaign with Italy at the Euros as well. Uh, in response to this, Manchester City are uh, planning to call up Romeo Labia uh, from the academy, who's going to be working alongside Fernandinho, of course, who has signed a new contract at Manchester City, and of course Rodri as well, which means Manchester City, word is, won't be looking at any central midfielders or defensive midfielders this summer. Exciting opportunity, though, for Romeo, no doubt. Now, moving on to our final story of the transfer update. 
Lionel Messi on a free anybody? His contract, Barcelona, it's up, it's finished, the contract is done. He is a free agent. If Manchester City wants to go out there and speak with Lionel Messi and offer him a, new, a contract to bring him in, that can happen. That definitely can happen. It isn't illegal. He is free to do that. His contract isn't sorted. However, before anyone gets too overexcited about this, Hagrid FCB, he has said that uh, he is still expected to sign a new two-year contract at Barcelona. Uh, it is taking longer than expected to get things sorted. I've heard lawyer fees and getting the contract signed and everything. Uh, there's still a delay. Messi's camp uh, are very relaxed about it. He wants to stay at Barcelona. Laporta's uh, um, stance on it at Barcelona is that Messi wants to stay, he wants to keep Messi, uh, and so they feel like the, the deal is there to be done. They're just waiting for the Copper America to be sorted to get Messi back over, get the contract signed and bring him back in. It does, though, mean that uh, his time as a Barcelona player has ended and he would have to be signed as a new player, uh, which is extremely odd. It's odd to think that right now, Lionel Messi is not a Barcelona player. If Man City wants to make a move, now is the time. If there is any developments on that, I will keep you up to date first and fast. I am expecting him, though, to sign a new contract at Barcelona, and that will officially then kill Lionel Messi joining Manchester City probably ever. So there we go, that has been the video, I hope you enjoyed the video, I have been in sunny Spain, enjoying my holidays, I will have a vlog up from my trip on my vlog channel within the next week or so for everybody to look forward to if you want to go and check that out with what I've been up to whilst I have been away, it's been a nice trip, nice to just recharge the batteries, ready for the rest of the summer transfer window. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be an exciting one. European Championship starting to come to an end. Copper America starting to come to an end. It does mean players are going to go on holiday. It means we're going to have movement, excitement, flight tracking. I cannot wait. You want to stay up to date? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe, press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on to be notified immediately for when I do upload. 19,000 subscribers, just over 900 subs away. That is the aim. Any help towards that would be fantastic. Like I said, daily Manchester City transfer updates. Stay up to date first and fast with the latest Manchester City transfer news through me this summer don't forget also to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video 300 likes is the like goal let me know your thoughts in the comments below as well of what you made of these transfers and lastly go and check out my social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and i'll see you guys again tomorrow for the next daily manchester city transfer update i've been jsgc it's nice to be back i hope everyone is safe and well thank you everyone for watching peace ciao for now